Hi, I'm Gary Sims, author of the book Learning FreeNAS and the webmaster of the learnfreenas.com website. Today we're going to look at a preview version of FreeNAS 0.7. Now FreeNAS 0.7 is based on FreeBSD version 7 and here we can see in the OS version that FreeBSD 7 is listed. And the thing about FreeSB, FreeBSD version 7 is it includes ZFS. Now I'm calling it ZFS, maybe some of you in other parts of the world would call it ZFS, but I'm going to call it ZFS because of my UK accent. Now ZFS is a file system designed by Sun Microsystems for their Solaris operating system. ZFS is open source and therefore it's been ported to, the, to FreeBSD, which of course is the operating system behind FreeNAS. A traditional filing system resides on a single hard drive, and if you want to use more than one hard drive, they need to be combined together with RAID or a volume manager. ZFS is different. All ZFS filing systems are built on top of virtual storage pools called Z pools. A Z pool is constructed of virtual devices which are themselves constructed of hard disks, or indeed files or hard disk partitions. Hard drives within a virtual device may be configured in different ways depending on the needs and the space available. You can have non-redundancy, which is just similar to RAID 0, joining the hard disks together, or as a mirror, which is similar to RAID 1, or for three or more devices, you can have uh, what's called RAID Z, which is similar to RAID 5, or RAID Z2, which is similar to RAID 6. And for RAID Z2, you need four or more hard disks. Now, we're going to configure a, 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 Z, a ZFS pool now here on FreeNAS. You go to the Management under Disks, to tell the FreeNAS server about the disks that are available to it. So we start by clicking the plus sign and we'll add our first hard disk. Here we have AD0 which is an 8 gigabyte drive and uh, down at the bottom in the pre-formatted file system we need to set this to a new option which we find there which is ZFS storage pool device and then we click add. Now we need to add our second hard drive. You can use ZFS with just a single hard drive. In this case, I'm going to try and show you the mirroring option with two hard drives. Again, we set this to ZFS for our second hard disk, AD2, also an 8 gigabyte hard drive. And once those two disks are there, we click Apply Changes. and there the changes have been applied. Now we don't want software RAID or we don't want encryption so the next step is to go to the ZFS page a new page added for 0 0.7 and we have to create a virtual device so we click the virtual device tab click plus and here we'll give it the name tank okay and what we're setting up is a mirror okay and we want both hard disks inside of that uh, and we'll put a description in a ZFS VDEV a ZFS virtual device click add so that's two hard disks being used in a single virtual device now we go to pool and we click the add circle and we'll give it a name we'll also call it tank it's made up of the virtual device. Now notice here you can have multiple virtual devices. So you have a pool, which is then made up of virtual devices, and a virtual device is made up of hard drive. So you can combine a mirror, a RAID 5, a RAID 0, all different virtual devices, and then combine them all together in a pool. And then we just want to click Add. You can leave the other fields empty as they are. And apply the changes. And there we have Tank, 7 gigs because we're using mirroring, it's online. Now we don't need to format it, we don't need to mount it because under ZFS it's pre-formatted and it's uh, pre-mounted on the system for us. Now we can go straight ahead into the services and make that tank, that uh, pool named tank available over the network, over Windows networking, Apple networking, NFS and so on. One last thing to mention before we finish is that at the moment ZFS is considered experimental of course version 0.7 is only an alpha release a preview release and isn't even in beta yet and also you need 512 megs of memory minimum to run N uh, ZFS on your system 
Thanks for watching. You can get more tips on using FreeNAS at the learnfreenas.com website, and my book, Learning FreeNAS, is available on Amazon. Thank you.